So, hi, George. Here is your completed uh, UV scanner uh, made by the uh, uh, Wayland Utani Corporation, uh, built, building better worlds. Um, at any rate, this is to go along with your colonist uh, bust, and uh, I think you're going to hopefully will like it. Uh, I just wanted to give you a, a quick little uh, preview around it. Uh, here's the on and off switch. There is a mode switch, a light switch, and a speed switch, and actually all of those, actually, the, they all do something. The screen is just static. Um, there's some symbolization on the top of it and such. And then there is uh, the actual emitter itself, <laughs> which is uh, 51 LED, uh, UV LEDs. Um, it's all mounted onto a metal metal frame. Um, I don't have a battery in it at the second, but the battery basically goes down here. It's just a nine volt battery, and then there's a little peak inside it. Um, it you know, again, it just runs from a nine volt battery. Get a better angle of that. Yeah. So just a little bit of electronics in it. Nothing really uh, too exciting. Um, I just wanted to give you, you know, a real sort of quick tour around it uh, before I uh, sh show you what it looks like in action. I have some things I'm going to set up, and I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the demonstrate the controls, uh, how they all work. But at any rate, I just want to give you a quick preview. I'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, so the first thing to uh, tell you about is how to install the battery. Um, one thing to know here is that this chassis just uh, tilts and then pulls out. There are some tabs here in the back and then there's uh, holes that match them in, in the chassis um, in the actual box itself. So when you once you've installed the battery you basically just align those tabs uh, and then as you rotate it around you, you, you probably need to pull on this little bracket a little bit and push on the housing and then it moves down. Um, this is pretty uh, robust and won't uh, slip apart. I made it so that it's a nice uh, tight press fit. Um, the thing that uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to do that is, was in case you decided you needed to tilt that up a little bit more. Um, this gives you the ability to do that a little bit instead of putting some sort of a mechanical thing there. I just use the housing basically to do that. At any rate, so there's that. So I'm going to go ahead and install the battery. And there's just a 9 volt battery clip on here, so you, you know, line up your tabs and snap on the, the connection. Um, I do have a holder for the 9 volt battery, so you can lay that in there and just plug the battery down into there. And again, you just want to um, line up the tabs in the back, pull it a little bit in the front, and it slides right, slides right down in. So once you've done that, then you can turn the power on. Um, the LEDs don't look quite this bright in person. Uh, they are UV LEDs, and I guess the one thing I should caution you about is you really don't want to spend any time looking at those. They can't damage your eyes if you're looking at them long enough. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do your demonstration here. I apologize for the... Uh the brightness of the lighting here. Unfortunately, because I'm shooting with dark room lighting to show you the skeleton, uh, the, the effect on the skeleton, uh, it's it's difficult to really sort of get the camera to ba balance correctly. So the first thing I'm going to do is just walk you through what, what the controls are, and then I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate them. So again, the, uh, the power switch is located at the bottom here. Um, you know, the, the power switch is located at the bottom, so when you want to turn the effect on, you basically just flip the, flip the switch up, and it will uh, you know, start the effect running. Um, and then the next uh, control to talk about is the mode button. There are five modes of operation, so every time you press this, it's just a push button, and every time you press it, it will change the way that the effect is blinking, strobing, flashing. The first two effects are, are really my favorite. Um, they're like a slow pulsation. The first one has sort of a ripple in it, and then the second one is just a rising and falling. Now the, the next control is the speed control. The speed control basically allows you to slow the effect down. Every time you hit the button, it will slow the effect down one step, and basically there are five steps of that, and after you go through the slowest step and hit it one more time, it will go back uh, to its fastest speed again. All right, pretty straightforward. So the mode button 
and the speed button are inter work interactively with one another. So you'll set your mode and then you'll adjust the speed that you like with the speed button. Now, there's another button on here which is, is called the light button. The light button sort of turns this into a dimmer kind of uh, device, a di like a dimmer switch device. So if I hit that button once, essentially what will happen is that um, the effect will lock up, the light will be on, and then as you hit the speed button, it will basically uh, change the brightness of it until it steps through its, I think it starts at the brightest and then it steps downward every time you hit the button until it gets to its lowest brightness. And then if you hit the button again, it will go back to its original brightness there, or go back to the highest brightness. Uh, when it, to exit that function, basically all you have to do is hit the mode button and it'll go back to wherever it left off. So that's the control. That that's the basic controls. Um, as you can see, it's it's running here uh, real nicely. Uh, again, I think as I mentioned earlier, you really don't want to um, you don't want to look at the uh, UV LEDs a whole lot. Um, it's not good for your eyes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the effect on. And I'm not real sure where it was when I turned it off, so I'm going to just step through. That's one effect. So I'm just going to leave it in that effect just for a second or two so you can see the, um, the speed changing. Um, and again, every time I press this button, it will slow down a little bit more and a little bit more. So because this is sort of like a, this is the one that has like the little flicker at the end of the pulse. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and switch to just a straight pulsing on and off. And I'm, again, I'm slip, stepping it down through its lowest speeds. This is a really nice effect. It's one of my favorites in this device. And there I pa passed the, 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 the sixth setting, which takes it back to uh, its fastest speed. So uh, you get the general idea of that. I'm going to go ahead and switch modes a couple more times. Uh, a lot of this isn't picking up, I mean, the camera's not fast enough really to pick this up, so things don't look in sync with one another. The, uh, the brightness of it is quite a bit different too. There's not nearly as much brightness on my hand as it's showing in this image, so um, it's, you'll see it when it hits your, uh, when it hits your, your uh, colonist, uh, I, think you'll, I think you'll like the effect that you get from it. Now, I, I'm going to use my, I am using my Frankenstein here, or my skull of Frankenstein, I belong dead. Uh, this is, happens to be a glow unit, and I'm going to go ahead and speed this, speed the, or slow the effect down. And I'm just going to run through a couple settings. And that's a, like a stro strobing effect, and you know, I can slow that down. And that one has a long on time, short off time. Um, this one has a short on and off time. Um, this will, I, I really think this is going to look much different on your on your on your piece. Um, as I mentioned, when you get to the sixth setting, the sixth mode setting, the effect will just come on and stay on. And then um, you can use the, uh, uh, I'm sorry, w once it hits that, there we go, there's, there, there it's stepping. So either if you hit the mode buttons for, for the sixth time, or you hit the light button once, it basically locks it up and it acts like a dim dimmer feature. And you can see it's just stepping down, stepping down, and then it will go back to its brightest setting. So it's brightest. And then step down, step down, step down, step down, and then back to its brightest again. So that's the that's a pretty quick demonstration of the functionality of this thing. Um, I guess I can go around. You should see how well this thing, this piece is really glowing. It's you know it's really a lot more uniform in uh, in person than it's showing up here. Um, it's just you know the way the camera is picking it up. But um, I'm gonna pick a different. It's a really slow, undulating kind of pulsation that I like a lot. So, 
Um, I don't know. I think that's uh, that's all I wanted to show you in the demonstration. It's a very simple box to use. Uh, there's, you know, you have to install the battery. I think I talked about that in the last video. But you know, if you have any questions, uh, I'm going to ship uh, in the, you know, be either it's today's Friday. I'll probably ship on uh, Monday, and um, so if you have any questions in between now and then, let me know, and I'll try to address them as best as I can. Okay, George. Thanks.